Assalamu alaikum Lafians, I'm Asma and you're watching Glippy, the place to be for Muslim life hacks to follow our deen more easily. And in this video, we will look at 10 halal music alternatives to listen to in the car. The main reason behind this video is that so many of us listen to music in the car because we think that there is nothing else to do. Once again, like any other hacks video that I've made on this topic, the purpose here is not to discuss whether music is halal or haram. Rather, these videos and tips are for those who wish to quit music because of the belief being that music is haram. So, let's not start any arguments here. And inshallah, let's get right into the video. Number 1. Nasheeds This is the classic alternative to music. Instead of your collection of music, Create a playlist of nasheeds in the language you prefer and plug that into your car so that it is ready to listen to whenever you feel like. You could also connect your phone and stream through existing YouTube playlists too. Number 2 is calling someone. If it's not too distracting for you when driving, then calling someone while you drive is a great alternative to listening to music in the car. Doing this is also useful because it helps you to keep in touch with your loved ones while also getting to your destination, inshallah. What I mean is you get two in one things done rather than doing them individually. Number three is podcasts. Podcasts are a great way to learn something new regardless of the topic of the podcast that you're listening to. However, once again, only choose this option if it's not too distracting for you while you're driving. There are many Islamic podcasts and other topics too. I personally listen to podcasts on my phone through Spotify and you can do the same or you can choose other platforms too. Number four is lectures, specifically Islamic lectures. Sometimes Islamic lectures are super long and we end up feeling lazy to listen to them. That way we're missing out on so much beneficial information. So one way to overcome this is to listen to these Islamic lectures on really long rides or listening to chunks of these lectures during the car ride. Also, it doesn't need to be just audio lectures. You could just put on an Islamic lecture from YouTube and most of the time you don't really need to watch it and it would be enough to just listen to it too. Just like podcasts, this is another way to learn something new and because Islamic lectures are related to the deen, we also get rewards for it in the process as well. Number five is talking to passengers. Similar to the point of talking to someone on the phone, instead of listening to something, we could also have some good conversations with other people who are riding with us in the car. In fact, you could also have a mini halaqa session, just talking about Allah, the Prophet or anything else related to the deen. Did you know that there are groups of angels whose task is to specifically look for groups or gatherings of people who are talking about Allah? These group of angels come and join the group of these gatherings and after that, they also go to Allah and talk about you and the other people in the group that you guys were discussing about the deen. So this is a great way to pass time, fill in the silence and also get rewards inshallah. Number six is GPS voice, which means that if you are traveling to a destination which you need maps for, then simply listening to the instructions provided to you by the GPS. Even if you don't need directions, sometimes it's handy to keep the GPS on because it gives you information of other things you would like to know while you're driving, such as an oncoming camera or speed limits, etc. But as Muslims, we should always worry about the biggest camera, Allah, who's watching us, not the cameras that the government's watching us through. Always follow the rules regardless of who's watching you and if there's a camera present or not. So anyways, having the GPS on is a good alternative to music and it is halal to listen to as well. Number seven is acapellas. These are musicless versions of songs made using only vocals, which is voices of human beings. However, we still need to make sure that these are clean and don't have any haram stuff, haram words, haram contexts or haram or any other haram things in them. Number eight is Halal Radio. Alhamdulillah, there are some radio channels which have some Islamic content on them too. I discovered one the other day while playing with the radio in the car. I'm from Melbourne in Australia, so sometimes that channel works and sometimes it doesn't, but it's really cool when it does work. It usually plays Quran recitation, 
but it also has morning and evening adhkar as well as plays the adhan when it's prayer time. Pretty cool, isn't it? Number nine is nature sounds outside the window. So sounds like rain, wind, birds, etc. Any such sound that you normally hear outside the window when you're in the car. While listening to these, we can also glorify the creation of Allah. Spending time with nature is a form of ibadah too, so why not do it while riding in the car as well if we can? Number 10 is silence. Sometimes we don't really need to listen to anything. And for that, silence is the best option. Just focusing on the road ahead and maybe reciting something to yourself or just staying silent if you prefer. Now I know I said 10 points, but here are some bonus points too. Number 11 is Adkar. This can be done either by reciting it to yourself or playing it in the background and reciting along with it. Adkar can be the morning or evening Adkar or any other dhikr and remembrance of Allah such as Tasbih, Astaghfar or any dua you wish to recite. Number 12 is Quran. Similar to the previous point, you could have the Quran playing in the background, you could recite it just by yourself or you can combine it and recite along with the recitation too, inshallah. You can also find some YouTube videos which have Quran recitation in them that are specifically meant for memorization of the surah that is being played. These videos are repetitive, have the ayahs being repeated constantly, have a gap in them so that you can recite along with it. And that is a really good way to spend your time in the car to memorize a few ayahs of the Quran by the time you reach your destination. Number 13 is audiobooks. Now this one was suggested by a fan on Twitter. Similar to podcasts, this is also a great way to learn something new. Some people believe that listening to audiobooks also counts as reading books. So in a way, it's a really nice way to get in some reading done if you are the one driving or if you feel sick while reading books in the car. Alternatively, if you don't get sick in the car, then you could also just read a book instead. Now guys, we hear of so many car accidents where music was continuing to play even after the people in the car had passed away. We never know which moment is our last moment, especially when we are in vehicles like cars. How many of us want to die with the shahada on our tongue? I'm sure many of us want to, but ask yourself, how is it possible to recite the shahada when there's music playing in the background at the moment of death? Also remember that the way we live is also the way we die. So let's spend our time doing more halal activities, listening to more halal things, eliminating more haram things from our life so that inshallah the day we die or the moment we die is easier for us to recite the shahada and pass in a good state inshallah. Inshallah I hope you find these halal alternatives to music useful and feel free to comment below any other suggestions of halal alternatives to music that you think we can listen to in the car and inshallah you will be rewarded if someone finds it beneficial. Make sure to share this video with someone who might find it useful and inshallah you will get rewarded for it too because sharing knowledge is a form of sadqa jariya. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, live your beliefs and stay tuned to Bluffy. The purpose here is not to... Similarly... Similar to talk... Similar... Similar to the point of... Similar to the point of to use the time in the cab, cab if you are the one driving or if you feel sick while reading car, car while reading cars in the books that you think we can listen to in the car cow So my dream for Jana grows day by day and I pray to Allah to guide me all the way. I make it to his paradise